And with that, after more than a month of playing, I now have a pretty badass druid. Let's summon everything. Now, I initially thought I'd have to switch over to full elementals, but it's like, wait a minute. There's something called Sunder Charms now. Dun, dun, dun. Break physical immunity. Because of this, my monsters, or in this case, wolves, bear, and ravens, are still usable. In hell, when you come across physical immunity and you have you know, your pets, they can't do anything. Because they do physical damage. Well, except for the vine, he does poison, but that's why I had him, because he did poison. But now, because of that Sunder Charm, oh, level 39, 3200 to 3500 damage, 50 hits apiece, and then I usually either cast that for more damage or that for more health, depending on the situation, what the heck am I doing, Hope Sage, I'm doing this one right now, <clears throat> needed the health. I was doing bow runs with other people, and it's like, well, don't need to do more damage. The sorcerers do all that, and that doesn't help them. Let's give everyone more health. Yay, my puppies are stronger. My bear's really strong, too. That's okay. Well, level 39, level 32, but base 20. That's because I got stuff like that. Plus two to all skills. Plus two to all skills. All, all druid skills. Plus two to all skills. Plus three to all elemental, and plus seven to ravens. Plus three to summoning. And then... There it is. Plus one to summoning. Plus one to summoning. Plus one to all skills. Gah. I love the analysis charms. Best small charm get in the game. And right now I'm rocking some Saigon. Just because I upgraded them to give them more defense. I was like, alright, well. 50% better chance of getting magic items. A lot of resist. Can't really go wrong with that. And uh, shit ring, shit ring, because I can't get an SOJ to save my life. And then on my Hepa, Lionheart, eh. More life, more vitality, all the resistances to get that maxed out. <clears throat> that for the life stolen per hit, plus extra strength, so you can wear that and carry this. For insight, give me that meditation aura. And of course, poison damage, but. <clears throat> Let's see, let's go after the Countess. I don't really need it, but, oh wait. Switch back over to that. Volcano. My Volcano. Base 10, but level 20 overall. Does fire damage and regular damage. Because before I had the break physical damage, it's like, well, I better do some fire. And then once I got the break physical, it's like, well, this does physical and fire, so I'll keep it. Kill them all. Oh, no, I'm in the fire. Oh, well. But I do all that physical damage as well. Same thing with Molten. Molten Boulder, I do believe, yeah, damage 121 to 156 physical. And that's why I went with this build. I was like, alright, well, got the physical Thunder Charm. I can keep my pets. Because I actually did reset to. Like, do cold damage. But it's like, oh, the twisters do physical. Well, or tornadoes do physical as well, but... They don't move in a straight line. They zigzag. Zigzag, Babu, zigzag. Which is great for some cases, but... I don't want to shoot those guys. Fire a tornado and it lands up over here. Shoot it at this guy and it lands over there. Like, that's not helpful. Because obviously if you get a break cold Sunder Charm, like, well, then I can kill anything that's cold immune. Unfortunately, couldn't get one. 
I got the physical instead. And then eventually, it's like, well, fuck. It's called immune, but I know I'm going to shoot him with a twister, and it goes that way, and it goes this way, and it goes every way but where I'm trying to shoot. It was annoying as hell, so I stopped. Went back over to the pets once I got the break physical immunities. Which there should be some ghosts down here. Because they're immune to physical. Wait a minute. Oh, my course closed here. I don't want to teleport anymore? I could have sworn I had teleport. I don't have teleport. Different character, dumbass. Yeah, forgot about that. Because on my necromancer on the last ladder, had a staff, or whatever. They gave me teleports. Like, all right, great, I can teleport. Yay! Yeah, I forgot. Wrong character, dumbass. No teleport on this one, sad face. So you're stuck wandering the entire board trying to find where the next level is. Yeah, too many. Run away, run away. Fifteen hundred health. Thank you, Oak Sage. And of course, my pet's just fucking everything up. Yeah, all right, let's go after the Countess. Birds are gone. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, a fire, but not physical. Nothing's immune to physical. So I'm good. Yay, get my runes. And as long as we're here, we may as well take that out. Why not? Shits and giggles and all that. Gain, identify, yay. Get rid of all the trash. 35,000 gain, not bad. Plus two to cold skills. If I had a sorceress, there you go. Pretty fucking badass. Shield right there. Sword right there. And that's all good to go. Ta da! I love this druid. I still. That's what I did. Corpse explosion. Because uh, you have the rune word black that gives you corpse explosion. Because I missed corpse explosion for my necromancer. My necromancer was badass with that. Oh, one's down. Corpse explosion. Take out a whole group. Was badass. Kind of missed it. That's why I don't have teleport because I have that instead. Although every now and then you come down here and be like, hey. Let's see. No. And he charges a teleport. Plus two sorcerer skills, not bad. And nope. Nothing with charges to teleport. Oh well. That done, we'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.